Right, what I'm going to show you is how to unlock the HTC Wildfire. This one hasn't got a SIM in, but for this demonstration, that's irrelevant. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the incorrect pattern to show you how it gets blocked, and then I'm going to show you how very quickly it is to unlock it. So those of you thinking that a pattern could have protected if you lose it and keep your personal data safe, well, I'm afraid it's not and I'll show you how easy it is to unlock it ok so I'll lock it, I've already put a pattern in and I'm going to put the wrong pattern in obviously I've got to do this a few times right now it says I've tried it five times and I've got to try, try again in 30 seconds. Now you can um, skip this a bit but um, I obviously can't. So I've just got to wait a few seconds. Well, seven of them actually. And I'll try again with the wrong code obviously. Right, I've tried it 10 times, now I've got to wait another 30 seconds, you know the screen's a little bit dirty. As you can see, I've got to wait another 10 seconds. One second. OK, now I'm going to obviously put in the wrong pattern again. It's a little monotonous to show you all the way through this, but it's just to show you that I'm actually doing it from start to finish. Right, as you can see, like I said I've incorrectly drawn the pattern 15 times. After five more times, You'll be asked to unlock your phone using your Google sign in. There. I've got to try again in 30 seconds. And we've got two seconds left. So I've got five more goes. There's one. Two. Three. Four and five. Now I'm locked out. As you can see, if I turn it off or turn it on, it won't make no difference. The pattern won't come up no more. All I'll be faced with is this, which is the um, too many Google, too many attempts to try and log in. Now to unlock it, it's quite simple, but it seems to give a lot of people a lot of trouble. So what you have to do is actually turn the phone off like so. Now then when you turn it on you have to hold down the volume button which is there and the power button at the same time. and then you'll be faced with this which is a menu system now all you have to do is use your, your volume to go down to where it says clear storage so it's, volu so it's volume up to move it up and volume down to move it down that's all I'm doing then to choose clear storage, all you do is press the power button, which I'm going to do. Oops, which I'm going to do now. Right now, it's saying, "Am I sure?" Well, yes, I'm sure because I know this phone's got um, 
nothing on it so I've done it especially for this so I'm pressing the volume up button now and now it says clear now it's going to reboot and there it goes it's rebooting now this will take a few seconds because obviously rebooting it from scratch um, the thing is if you've got pictures on this what you've taken um, you, you won't lose those they will stop there so you've no fear of losing your, your any favorite pictures you've got of your family or friends or anything like that but you will lose if you've got your contacts saved to phone you will lose those um, but obviously not if on the sim card I don't think but I haven't got a sim card in this so this is a spare one I've got so I'm not going to use it on my own <laughs> Might just give it a few seconds it just take a, few, uh, um, a minute or so to reload everything up again once it's been once you've cleared the storage but um, I did this because well somebody I knew wanted it unlocking and they took it to a certain place and they said well they didn't, couldn't do nothing about it well a few seconds of searching and pressing a few buttons and and voila it's actually um, not as difficult what some people make out where they charge you ten pounds a time or they may say they don't actually know how to do it it's still loading it'll just take a, it'll just take a few minutes but don't worry, it's um, all will be okay in a second or two. You can make yourself a cup of coffee if you like while this is just doing this. Or inevitably you could fast forward it, which I'm sure you are doing. Now oh, this is perhaps a little monotonous, but I wanted to do it from start all the way through because I've watched a few YouTube videos of this how to do it and that sort of thing but I'm not seeing it actually all the way through or they've tried to use sim locks or ring this number or go to this website and they'll charge you £20 and £25 or whereas in reality it's just totally free it just takes a few minutes of your own time and I've a little bit of confidence and, that, and that's it really and um, I wanted to show you that I was actually doing it from start to finish and I think was actually being missed out but it's saying no, there we go, it's saying no service obviously because like I said it's got no sim card if I scroll it down there's the logo, HCC logo a few more minutes or seconds hopefully rather than minutes Like I said, the good thing about this is that um, any photos or little videos you've got on there, um, you don't lose. So that's a, that's a good thing about it. Um, so it's technically like a, a factory reset, but you don't lose your pictures. But like I said earlier, you, you do lose your contacts. You've actually saved those to your phone rather than your SIM. And um, um, I'm also certain that any applications you may have on your phone will be deleted as well right now as you can see we're back to the, the screen and um, select my language and I'll just click next insert sim card well I won't do that I'll just skip that bit uh, start typing and I'll, I won't do that so I'll skip that internet connection, well I'm going to skip that because um, I'm not actually going to connect to a Wi-Fi at the moment even though it's ticked oh, I hate Google, they want to know everything don't they look where you are, what you're doing, what you're eating for breakfast well that's just for this 
I mean, you can set it for locations if you like, but this is just an example. Um, yeah, you can set the date, etc., etc. Well, I won't bother doing that. I'll just skip it and finish. And it's loading. There we go. Oh, by the way, this phone is actually SIM locked to Vodafone, so it's irrelevant to what the it's locked to or where you bought it from. Or and just close that page there, and as you can see, it's totally unlocked again. And I'll just put it in sleep mode. Now, last time the pattern came on, as you saw, turn it back on again and there's no pattern, it's gone. So now you can reset your pattern to what you want to gain if you wished and this time don't forget which pattern you put in. So if you do put a pattern in that you forgot you never really need to fear about it apart from losing contacts obviously which can be a big deal to a lot of people however you won't lose the use of your £150 plus phone this is what I've got in my hand is a HTC Wildfire. I've also tried it on a HTC Desire. Exactly the same thing. I said with the Desire, is you have to hold it down longer, the volume down and the power button, and it um, was like buzzing for about 15 seconds. And the same menu came up, um, apart from the the Wildfire, which came up nearly immediately. So that's the um, how to unlock the HTC Wi-Fi if you forget the SIM lock, not the SIM lock, your, um, your pattern code. Okay, thanks for watching and um, have fun.